hi everyone welcome back to another video so again i am going to give solution of one of the questions which come in the csd 9th october uh, exam so this question is uh, named as get sequence sum so i am making it uh, as soon as i get the question so i am not able to give you the details of the questions basically there will be three uh, in integers given that is i j and k and you have to add uh, all the integers from i to j and uh, like uh, incremental order and then uh, like from i to i plus 1 i plus 2 i plus 3 like that up to j and then again you have to decrease uh, by 1 from j to k okay and you have to give uh, the sum of all those numbers so before giving you the solution i will ask you to subscribe and join the channel and let's check how the solution works now so first uh, we are uh, we are going to need a variable where we are going to store the sum so we will uh, declare a variable integer sum and we will uh, make it as zero okay we will initialize it with zero then we will write a for loop from i to j because we need all the values from i to j and it will be incremented from uh, by plus one so we will be uh, traversing all the values from i to j and we will be taking a value that is num okay that is for like for loop traversal uh, technique so we will be taking num and we will be initializing num as i and we will be going all the way up to j okay and we will increment num by one okay that is num plus plus and for every iteration of the for loop we will be adding the nums value to sum okay in our sum variable we will be adding the num value so like for like suppose the i's value is given as 5 and j's value is given as 9 so for the first iteration the uh, 5 will be added to our sum that is 0 so it, the, now sum becomes 5 and suppose in the second iteration uh, and num is plus plus that is num is incremented by 1 so it will become 6 so again 6 will be added to sum which is uh, which is now 5 and 6 will be added so it will become 11 again in the third iteration uh, 7 will be added so it will become 18 like that okay so it will uh, go on until it reaches the value j and after that what we need to do after that we need to decrement by 1 from j to k so again we will write another for loop and now we will initialize num with j and we will be doing the iteration till we reach k and we will be decrementing this time okay we will be decreasing one by one from j to k and again we will be adding the value of the particular num for each iteration to our sum variable so it will be similarly for we will initialize num with j minus 1 because our j is already taken in the previous for loop so now we will be decrementing by 1 so it will be j minus 1 and num uh, will be uh, going to uh, till uh, k okay num will be going till we reach k and num will be decrementing so num minus minus and we will be adding the value of the num to our sum variable which is uh, already now containing all the value uh, all the values sum from i to j and now we, the all the values sum from j to k will also be added to here so we will be doing sum plus equals to num so now also like uh, suppose our uh, j value is 9 and k value is 7 so now our 8 and 7 these two values in last two iterations will be added to our sum variable okay so now our sum will be containing the sum of all the values from j, uh, i to j uh, in incrementing order and from j to k in decrementing order and this will be containing sum of all those numbers and now we need to return the sum so we will be like writing return sum okay so that is the solution okay if you uh, need any more solutions or any questions you need solutions or particular you can give me the questions name in the comment section